welcome back everyone to another video now i have uh, brought to you guys a lot of content on the latest and greatest in android operating system whether it be with the raspberry pi or something like android x86 project or some other device like the iq960 but for this video i really thought to go back a bit and do some retro android stuff so for today i have the android x86 build but for the android version 1.6 which happens to be the oldest version that was stable and released in the smartphones and this build actually comes back from the year 2010 now this build is so old that it wouldn't even boot on my usb 3 uh, port so if i have a usb 3 external hard drive connected to my laptop and it would not boot it would go through the bootloader process and then when the kernel starts to detect uh, the file system it would just uh, not detect it because the, it doesn't have the driver so i'm not expecting everything or a whole lot to actually work but uh, whatever does we can see and we'll take a look uh, and we'll take a walk down the memory lane uh, with that said, I have actually never never uh, used Android version 1.6 All I have ever used was uh, some basic Android version uh, 2.1 That was my first phone with the Micromax A60 It had a 600 MHz processor But for this one, we have the Android version 1.6 And as you can see, running perfectly on my laptop So this is uh, Android 1.6 this is probably the only time I will be using this uh, again uh, very very advanced for it, its time and uh, I don't think there was anything like uh, this ever uh, uh, around that period of time uh, for something like a smartphone so we'll go through the future feature sets and just first I really need to go ahead and take a look at the firmware version as you can see it's 1.6 it was originally the android x86 project was originally uh, designed to be run on the asus epc platform which was based on intel uh, intel's atom processor but then it actually evolved into a, a much bigger thing like the whole android x86 and started targeting a lot more devices so again we are running on a very old kernel 2.6.29 uh, linux kernel uh, again uh, the guy here uh, it's the he's he's the guy he's still maintaining everything up there and it's a very very old uh, project again as i said build from 2010 so android x86 project has been going on for a very very long time uh, for some of you who might think that it's quite recent so let's go ahead and take a look at a few more things we do have i think the ethernet working as well it does say that it is connected so let's go ahead and try to uh, browse some websites let's see how that opens up in a fairly old browser so we have google.com let's see if we can actually play some uh, youtube videos so and uh, of course the videos come out so let's go ahead and uh, cancel the certificate here uh, continue So yes, the website won't display like at all. Uh, let's try and go to my website. So okay. So yes, so my website actually works fairly well on this. Uh, the WordPress page also seems to be working okay. Uh, of course, there are a lot of security warning probably because the browser is uh, very much outdated uh, and that's how it is. Uh, so that works. Uh, let's go ahead and try a few more things if I can go back to the home page that is. So since it doesn't have onboard uh, controls I do actually have to guess okay so there we are 
let's go ahead so one of the things that i really like about android is even at that time when iphone uh, and other things like blackberry existed the amount of con uh, customizability on android uh, uh, especially uh, thinking it off as a mobile platform uh, you can see that uh, the ability to drag and move icon around uh, the ability to have folders and then have multiple icons inside that folder was pretty awesome so i can have i mean these are some features that are still there on android and have not been disabled uh, have not moved or anything and then of course widgets were a very big thing uh, of course now ios has implemented them however they have but uh, it has never been actually like a, like a proper implementation even on their side but android has been doing these things since a long time now and if you can uh, and then there's the option to have separate home screens all together uh, and not just one so this was again this was the first version of android that actually made it out to uh, actual devices uh, and still it, it was still uh, it was very much advanced for its time so there are a few games now of course I'm not expecting graphics to be rendered by hardware uh, so it is software rendering it's happening on the uh, actual uh, CPU now instead of the GPU because the GPU is fairly recent uh, even if it's Intel HD it's a very fairly recent version of Intel HD on this laptop but uh, so the Mesa drivers wouldn't have been available but again so uh, there are a few games that come preloaded on this version of Android x86 that actually work pretty well with a keyboard so I, I am actually controlling the game with the keyboard right now uh, and apart from that yes it is it is a really really nice uh, experience to have an older version of Android running fairly well on uh, something some this n new hardware uh, and still functioning uh, pretty much okay Alright, so let's go ahead and look at a few more things that are on there. Um, let's see what we can do. Okay, so the camera sort of works. I mean, uh, you can see it's completely glitched out. But uh, apart from that, it, it can detect movement. I, I mean, the sensor is recording something, but the drivers again, as I said, are not really updated. So if I move my hands over the camera, you can see uh, that it is actually uh, getting some form of image right there uh, not not something that can be easily re reproducible so we have another game called jet boy and uh, this is an audio engine demo okay and I have no idea what to do it doesn't really work with keyboard and a mouse so we have lime I forgot what that was for uh, custom input method mapping so if you want to map your keyboard and mouse with something uh, in, in, instead of touch there was this app called rock on and I have no idea uh, probably some music related app connect bot and I still use this freaking app till date uh, and because it's just a great SSH or, or telnet app and it works perfectly well uh, so we can actually go ahead and you know log in as a local host and see how things are so you name a you know I mean we already got that info so again this build never had a 64 bit version it was only 32 bit and of course most Android builds were only 32 bit uh, even for Android x86 up to a point uh, until very recently 64 bit uh, was actually uh, included in the Android source code and then uh, things started changing uh, apart from that uh, we don't have a whole lot more 
uh, there are some developer tools um, so it was really nice to again go ahead back and take a look at some older version of android running on a fairly fairly recent hardware uh, and of course it is a build of android x86 this group this community has been going on strong ever since and uh, you know i leave a link down in the description if you want to go ahead and take a look at this uh, old version of android that sort of still works uh, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description i hope you all enjoyed this video uh, thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one thanks for liking commenting and subscribing